In the last few years, we've had a spate of high-rise buildings ignite, resulting in dangerous fires. Two in Dubai, another in Melbourne, Grozny in Russia, and a number in China. This has become a serious concern to authorities regarding safety for both occupants and the general public. These particular fires were all caused through faulty or poorly specified aluminium cladding material. But aluminium, some ask, does not ignite. That is correct. However, due to thin gauge aluminium used in this cladding, it is generally laminated with a solid plastic material to provide physical strength and integrity. The problem was the inferior plastics used in these buildings were highly flammable, resulting in rapid upward spread of flames causing considerable damage, not to mention public safety and welfare. Whilst the products were presumably specified to have at least a mandatory B1 fire rating, there have been manufacturers and developers substituting specified products with inferior material for monetary advantage at the expense of public safety. What is a fire safe cladding material and how do we know it's safe? Let's show you the difference between a thermoplastic insulation board and a thermo setting insulation board under flame exposure. There are two different types here which at a glance look very similar. One is XPS thermoplastic insulation, the other is a PUR thermo setting insulation, both manufactured to a specified B1 fire standard. This means they should not self ignite or propagate fire when exposed to naked flame, and they should self extinguish when the flame source is removed. As you can see here, they both do that. However, the XPS, being a thermoplastic, melts under exposure to naked flame compared to the PUR, which simply chars. For the sake of demonstration, one should remember that the heat being applied here is extreme compared to a naturally aspirated fire. Most insulation and plastic are made fire resistant through the addition of fire retardants in the chemical manufacturer. Fire retardants are expensive. As such, there are some manufacturers that whilst fire code testing was done with proper retardants in order to obtain initial product certification, later product was produced without it or an inferior lining material just to save money. The plastic lining used on the affected building shown here actually propagated the fire as the frames were steel, the walls were concrete and the cladding face was aluminium, all of which are non-combustible. It was simply the substandard plastic lining which caught fire and enabled it to spread with dangerous results. At SmartZone System, we manufacture our own cladding and insulation. It is not outsourced. Due to its superior insulation values, we utilize PUR as the thermal performance is around 30% greater than XPS and also because it chars rather than melts, maintaining its integrity under extremes such as fire. When it comes to fire safety and insulation qualities, we value and stand by our brand. When it comes to fire resistance, you can be sure that the integrity of any product featuring SmartStone System's name is 100% specification at all times. We guarantee that. The easiest way to find this out is simply put a match to it before it goes on a wall. And if it ignites without self-extinguishing with removal of the flame source, you get your money back. It's obviously that this simple test was not done in relation to the products on the building shown here earlier. The simplest way to avoid a fire is for it not to start by using fire retardant and resistant materials in the first instance. At SmartStone System, human lives and safety will not be compromised for the sake of profits. Guaranteed. When it comes to quality insulated cladding solutions, think SmartStone Systems, where quality and excellence is the norm.